Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here and welcome back to the latest Road to Gullum and Payton Challenge video. So it's been a few weeks since I've had one of these up, but time hasn't been on my side lately, but I still managed to get a little bit done. And for this week's video, the goal was to paint up five Space Marine Scouts. Now these models have slightly aged a bit, they're not as easy to put together as you'd think they would, but I still like them, they have that old nostalgic feel to them, and I love the sniper version of these as well, so I was kind of hyped up to paint these guys, I really like them. These are how scouts are meant to look, you know, a little bit of armour, not too much, and completely different weapons. Very basic guys, they go in, they're stealthy, they're quick, and they do the job. So let's start off with what colours I used on the pants, this kind of white, kind of slightly creamy look. This was done with Rackard flesh all over, and then with a shade of Agrax Urchhead all over, but especially in the recesses. I didn't do any highlights over it because I wanted the pants to have kind of a, a really grungy looking and I didn't want the most prominent parts to be too bright. I wanted them to look like a little bit dirtier and that they've been used a bit. Now for the armour, it's been the exact same what I've done for every other Space Ring model in this. It's with the McCraig blue base colour all over, Nolan oil in the recesses and then Calgar blue highlights all over. There was no point in trying to change it. Maybe I could have went with a camouflage colour but I wanted to stick to the basic blue colours that I've been doing through the whole thing and plus I really like them like that. Maybe in the future I might do a camouflage version of these guys or I might just leave it till the scouts or until the, the sniper versions come out in the set. So I might do the camouflage maybe flat and mix it up a little bit more. And of course there is a lot of black on the model. You have the guns, you have the hair, you have his boots. They're all done in Abaddon black. Null and oil. You don't really have to do the null and oil in the shades of that. You can if you want. And then for the highlight, I went with Mechanica Standard Grey. Just on the very, very most prominent parts of the model. Um, so the very prominent parts of the boots, the edges of the gun. And then kind of just around the fringe part of the black hair as well. Now, as for the skin, the only part of the skin there is the face. So that was done with Reichlin Flesh Shade. Oh, no, it wasn't. That was done with Bugman's Glow, followed by a shade of Reichlin Flesh Shade. I didn't do any other highlights all over that because I'm trying going to start working on the videos for doing shades so I'm still kind of experimenting a bit and that was it I didn't need to put any highlights over it the way it looked it was good enough for that and I just left it at that then as well nice and simple so onto the gold parts which is the chest there's a little bit on this arm a little skull that was done with retributor armor agrax or shade all over it usually I'd either go for Reikland flesh shade or agrax or shade I wanted to go with the Agrax version because I wanted to be a little bit darker, a little bit more muddier, and then with Liberator Gold as a small little highlight on the edges then as well. So onto any of the metal parts, which is of course the parts on the gun, the parts around the kind of mechanical parts on the part of their heads, on the sides, and any other metal parts on their armor as well. That is done with the most reliable color scheme that ever existed. Lead Belcher all over for the base, Null and Oid shade in the recesses, and then Stormhole Silver on the highlights as well. It's a it's the trio that I've never really deferred from. It's there's no reason to it. it works, it always looks good. So I stuck with what I knew just for that. And then finally there is a little bit of red on the scope on the lens of the scopes of the gun that was done with my fist on red. There's a little part with the mechanical eye or the little vision thing that was on the red. Just my fist on red, it didn't do any shades over it. It's nice and bright the way it was, so I left it at that as well. And then onto the bases, it's the same technique that I've used throughout the whole thing. A little bit of cork on the bottom, leaving out some of the edges. Astro granite all around the edges then. Let that dry. And then Mechanica Standard Grey all over it. Null and oil all over that then to really darken the recesses. And then a heavy highlight of Dawnstone around the edges to make it pop. And uh, that's it. It was very kind of simple to do these. Uh, it just took me a while to get the time to get them finished. And, you know, I'm glad I have these done. They were very annoying to try and glue to put together a lot of the parts didn't fit so i was worried that there was a lot of glue on the on the shoulder pads that kind of ended up coming out over and it looked you could see the glue marks on it and um, but once it was painted and i cleaned that up a bit they looked fine i really like these models they're very dated now i think at this point so it'd be nice to see well i don't think we're ever going to see normal standard space marine scouts again we're going to go with the premieres versions but down the line i'm pretty sure in this set you do get the sniper version which I really like. I have a set of them and I'm looking forward to painting them. So I'll give me a chance to do some camouflage on them. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys like this video. You liked how I painted these and hopefully you got something from it. But if you like this video, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. Feedback is always great. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. And once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video.